Right. Okay, I'm setting it up. Sorry, gang. It's going to be a little wiggly. Almost done. Okay, that's something. Ugh.
still be my uh, burden to stay on this earth until I'm 100 and something. Boy, that messed everybody up. Pollen count is up really high. 
is closed. And then it gets up in the 90s. And, uh, well, I have seen it over 100 out there. So sometimes uh, during the summer we don't stay out on a course too long, just in the evening and then early in the morning. But when it gets that hot, I stay in the house and run the AC. LQ, Lenny, Huron City. Good morning. I missed that. Try again. Well, I tried to uh, meet your uh, quick draw, and I should have known better than that. 
hook up with some fresh coffee and uh, be right back to pester you some more. So you keep it, uh, keep it running there. And Wes is in the parking lot. He'll be heading out pretty soon. So. And, oh, Stephanie should be there pretty soon, too. All right, I'll be right back. Say I didn't know because when I let off the key, dude was talking. I couldn't tell. And if I don't catch it just right, my crossband repeat won't even engage. <laughs> I just gotta wait till it's clear and the uh, and the receiver clears. And then I can hit the key. So yeah, <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. 
much early. That's, that's a good thing. And AWB Mobile, AAHCS, Stefan, have a fabulous Friday. And I concur with uh, both you and Randy. Uh, Jim does a fabulous pre-show. Uh, what he doesn't know is that we're just prepping him for the big show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can take it away, as I like to say. Uh, no alliteration implied there, by the way. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get the short time in here. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Rod and Wendy, let's see if you guys are out there, K-H-A-X and W-A-J-A-X. Uh, you guys with us this morning, and how's the walk going? Back into town 
last night. Uh, I was up in the state up north for uh, work all week. Uh, so, good to be back home, but everything I had to do uh, all week at home got pushed to the weekend, so we're going to be a little bit busy this weekend, but that's all right. Uh, we should have some nice weather to get some things done on Sunday. So 
absolutely awesome. And uh, uh, wow, that, that's going to be very, very cool. Okay, sir, uh, my very best to your lovely wife, and uh, you have a fabulous Friday. Okay, let's play with Dick and uh, pick up the cross band right here. Bandit. It ain't XLQ. This is AA8CS Clark here on deck.
I don't know how to come up to say, so I'm going to give it back to you, uh, Gary. So, Kit, at the first post, sir, Mark and Rodberg, 73. 73 is good, we got it. Uh, being a Buckeye, uh, but <laughs> just kidding. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty, uh, uh, Mark, take care and have a good day. Jim, you take care as well. Uh, have a fabulous Friday, and uh, we will continue forth here. Uh, we'll break with, uh, with Mark and pick up uh, Wade. WDNYU, Wade, I got to tell you, it was really nice uh, talking with you uh, last night. Uh, or, uh, probably wasn't last night. Yeah, maybe it was. I don't even remember what time it was. Chronology is not my strong suit. Uh, Wade, uh, what do you have for us? Um, and it's good to hear you. Uh, and it's good to uh, know that you're in town, so to speak. WDAWIU, AAHCS. I'm right here. Um, I climbed up on the roof to move a couple of antennas around, took the HT with me, and the, uh, the microphone came out the side of it, and I'm like, what the heck? So, yeah, I'm, I was going to talk to you from my roof, but that didn't work out. <laughs> um, yeah, I got two antennas. I got a couple of mobile antennas up there that I can experiment with, and I've just got, got them set it on metal plates. So they've got something, you know, magnetic to stick to, and they're a little heavy, and they don't blow over. So that's what I was doing, messing around with a couple of antennas on the roof. 
on the double cross band repeat thing and again today it's up on youtube if you want to look at it it's right there and um, i don't know about the image right now it looks blurry blurry on my monitor so i don't know but um let's see what else is happening uh ah started getting stuff ready to head out saturday tomorrow to the uh the poda thing that's going on with some local folks over here in the east of me just a little bit uh scott's gonna go over and he asked me if I was going to go. I was like, yeah, I guess I can. So um, I'll get a hold of him later on and find out where it's at. But uh, that's what's up, man. I'm just uh, going to finalize a few things, get a shot back in the van, uh, switch some antennas in the van yesterday, make sure all the wiring was good. So if I show somebody, they don't burn their finger on it. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Stow! Anyways, um, let's see. Well, that's about it. I'm not. I'm not going to break a, a gator mouth pattern. I'm going to go ahead and let it happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. AA8 Custom Select N8XLQ. Uh, Lenny Never Eight Extra Large Quesadillas over here in Huron, Ohio. Waving a big cup of coffee at you. You guys have a great day. 73s.
least according to my prognosticator, a wonderful stretch of good weather coming. Bill, take it away. N-E-W-S, A-A-A-C-S. A-A-A-C-S in the group, N-A-W-S. Good morning, Phil. It's Leader. Fabulous Friday. Beautiful morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, last night I saw a raccoon on top of my bird feeder. <laughs> I chased him away. He didn't get to eat too much. <laughs> oh, well. At least I know what it is. Ah, let's see. Temperature this morning is 49 degrees when I get up. I am supposed to be 81. Brawler is at 30.1. Visibility, 10 miles. 2.45 degrees. Humidity, 76%. My sunrise, 6.16. My sunset, 8.38. Length of day, 14 hours, 22 minutes. Solar flux indices at 163, sunspot number 138, A is 9, K is 3, geomagnetic field is unsettled. But the bands are open again this morning. Uh, I'm listening to 40 meters. Uh, I heard a guy call it the Japan. I could hear the Japanese station come back, but I couldn't make out what he was saying. Very weak signal. So... Conditions are improving, <laughs> but stay tuned, there might be more CMEs coming. Uh, the CME has arrived, the CME hit Earth's magnetic field on May 12, 0635, UTC, deflecting magnetometers, needles at the Iowa Magnetic Observatory. Anyhow, uh, there might be a G1 and G2 class geomagnetic storm. Good 
definitely going to miss us. I'm crossing my fingers on that one. Uh, I have to go up and do some work in the falls. Cuyahoga, uh, yeah, not Cuyahoga, well, Chagrin Falls. <laughs> the, uh, the one that's far away. Uh, I got to go up there today and get some work done. Uh, I did get some boat work done yesterday. Uh, did some work on some oak and, and got it epoxy to the boat. Yesterday was a beautiful day to do epoxy. Oh man, almost 80 degrees. It was perfect. Uh, had all the working. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, that's a big thing. Just trying to get the, getting uh, little bits and pieces done on the boat and. Uh,
quick family. Uh, and I don't use a spoon in my coffee. I just take it the way it is. Anyway, 7-3, everyone. This is KEATQR, and back to you with Net Control, Mary. Thank you. 
Just about out. 
May 12th, 2023. It's about, I don't know, 8.45. That was a long net today. Uh, we'll see you later. This is Lenny, N8XLQ, with the double cross band repeating thing going on before your eyes. <laughs> I figured it out. It's so cool. Um, take care. 73.